You know, if you want to make a major impact, we got to think outside the box. We got to dare to be a little different. You know, we can't be afraid of what could happen. You know, we was talking about hope. We got to hope for the best, you know. How did the recent gun buyback program in Chester go? I was there. I was on the west side of, at the west side location. And I was there for, you know, the majority of the time. And right before they shut it down, uh, some white guy, he had Delaware tags, came in and dropped off 10 guns for for $1,000. Like, you know, and, and granted, he was a gun collector. It was his father's guns. Like, it wasn't the purpose of the buyback, in my opinion. Like, you know, the buyback was the initiated to try to get guns off the street. And this guy just took some old rusty guns that he had sitting in his home and turned them in. So, I mean, take it how you want it. To me, it was a it, it was not a success. Um, was he the only guy who dropped off guns? Yes. yes. And what? at the West Side location, I'm not sure what the East Side location was doing. But like I said, and it was that was just one day. Saturday we worked another event, uh, but for Friday it was it was it was a dud. You know, I don't I'm not trying to be harsh or anything, but I'm just you know I was there. I see it with my own eyes. I'm speaking facts. It, it's a lot of things that I've seen that I would critique differently. You know, me being on once being on the other side, you know, riding past a gun buyback, and the first thing you see is a, is a cop a car in the parking lot is not gonna it's not an enticing you know. Uh, uh, appetizing look for someone who's trying to, you know, come in with an illegal firearm and turn it in. Granted, the police were only there to collect the guns, but I'm not going to get inside to learn that much. If I'm a street individual, you know, with a gun that may possibly be dirty or whatever the case may be, I'm not going to walk into this gun buyback when I know the police presence is right in my face. And it's just not something that's going to happen. So, you know, and also I think one of the another major flaws was having it in an indoor you know, I, I think it should have been more of a, like a, a community day type of event. Like we had at the Peace Walk, that would have been a nice area because people probably would have felt more safe. I understand it's probably a little harder to control the, the flow of traffic and what's going on with these guns. But, you know, if you want to make a major impact, we got to think outside the box. We got to dare to be a little different. You know, we can't be afraid of what could happen. You know, we was talking about hope. We got to hope for the best, you know, and Chester Community Coalition, we call ourselves hope dealers. So that's all we do is work off on selling hope, you know, and I'm always trying to look at the brighter of a picture. Yeah, there, there could be some negatives, you know, but we got to instill people that we have faith in them that they can do the right thing because so much, so many times, you know, when I'm in the streets of Chester, it's just the, 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 the energy is bad because that's how we're treated. We're looked at as always getting negative from the press. You know, if they don't come around when we have positive, we got to pretty much beg the news to come out and uh, just just for anything positive. And, you know, Chester Hyde had a great, amazing graduation class. Didn't see nothing in the Delco Times about it. You know, when I graduated, we made the Delco Times. And granted, it made me feel like, okay, I accomplished something. I made the news here only because I graduated. It's an achievement. Now it's like, okay, I graduated. Next. Mm -hmm. You know, you got you to gotta continue to make the community feel. Not, and this is just to anybody that's watching, this is not directed to the housing authority per se. I know that we're recording, so I just wanted to know that the city has to try to change the narrative from the top to the bottom. We can't just expect these kids to change their narrative and we're not willing to change the narrative that how we look at them because, you know, some of them aren't bad. They're just in a bad environment. They're in a bad situation and they've made bad decisions just trying to survive. I'm one of those people. I've always had a great heart. You know, I've always been I would give somebody the shirt off my back never would pick up a gun and harm nobody but I hung around real killers like I hung around people that, that, that really done, done some some things out here and it's like even now with the work I'm doing I still have some of these same friends and now my friends you know they respect more so what I'm doing and they look at life a little differently now so it's just you never know the impact you could have when you just genuinely show somebody affection a lot of these kids are just lacking male positivity they don't know how to accept love from a male because they never had a father so they wouldn't help most of the time they're engaged by another male is to teach hate 
and where the lack of love is being taught. Yeah, thanks for your uh, analysis of the gun buyback. That really mirror, you know, I've, I've witnessed a lot of them over the years, both in this area and, and elsewhere. And they just, that's really all they've seemed to amount to is it, they're political events. Uh, political people score points off of them. They, they give out numbers of, on guns, but the, uh, the people that really know what's behind that will tell you, you know, you know it's a lot of uh, obsolete uh, weapons that were turned in and it, it, it doesn't, it, they never can show uh, an impact on the community, you know, afterwards that uh, it helped reduce any of the problems that it was intended to address. So, Absolutely. Um, so that's unfortunate. I don't, I don't uh, discourage the effort, but uh, uh, no one's ever really shown that it, you know it had a, a good impact. 